What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here and welcome back to another Tottenham update, this time on transfer window deadline day. The January transfer window is going to slam shut tonight at 11 o'clock, so we've got so much news yeah, to bring Van to you today. coming, Nelson, so much Zaha. News, so much news to bring to you Any today. I'll probably as take Nelson and Zaha at this point, to be honest. <laughs> Steve Hitchin, we all know Steve Hitchin, how he feels about the January transfer window, so I think that, it. that kind of um, tells you how much business we're going to be doing today yeah. but we've got some injury updates to bring to you first and let's start off with David Heitner from the Guardian tier one source and he has come out with today Giovanni Lo Celso will be out for at least another further three weeks with his hamstring injury and that is news that we did not need to hear right now it's gutting. It really is gutting, gutting news because we need him. And uh, it's just, if we're not, if he's injured, I really thought in this run while he's injured, Delhi was going to get a look in again. But he even now, he still can't get a look in. And apparently, um, I was just reading that apparently um, Delhi not leaving has, uh, the injury has a part to play in that. Apparently. It makes no sense just whatsoever. Just give him some minutes. Like, I get it. He's not done well. And I'm Either not, give I'm... him minutes or ship him out the door. One of the two. You can't just keep him in limbo to keep him just in case we have injuries. We have injuries now. Yeah, I agree with that. It's so ridiculous. He has to get, start getting some minutes on the pitch. And uh, it's very frustrating. It's very, there's a very frustrating situation. And La Celso, it's getting worrying, man. I, I love La Celso. I think he's a class player. I really do. I don't understand people who get like, say, we should sell him and stuff. Like, they get angry at him like it's his fault he's injured. But like, here's a lot of the season it's now. It's a recurring theme this season. It's a lot it really of the is. season he's getting injured. And I, I don't want to sell him because I think he's a class player. I really believe in Gio. I think he's really, really good. He's got potential to be a very big player for us. But he needs to get on the pitch. He needs to get fit. And we, he needs to start contributing because we need him. We yeah. need him desperately. Yeah. All right, let's move on. This one's from Dan Kilpatrick of the Evening Standard. And he is saying about Harry Kane, some good news I've got for you guys. Today. Harry Kane. Yeah. Harry Kane expects to return within two weeks um, from his ankle injury. So uh, that's some good news at least. Yeah, rushing back Harry Kane. Nothing <laughs> new there. Nothing new there. Uh, look, let's hope he can get back to full recovery. With ankles, it's always... You've got to be careful with ankle injuries because they've yeah. got, always got a high chance of reoccurring. That's well, the problem. We've seen that with Harry Kane, haven't we? Yeah, so I'm just worried you're going to rush him back. He'll take a knock on the f his first challenge and he'll be out for like a month or something. He'll, he'll aggravate it. So you've got to make sure he's 100% before we get him back on the pitch. But uh, we won't because we're struggling, aren't we? Yeah, we need That's him desperately. Thing. We desperately need, we, we, we need him pitch. back as soon as possible. At least it's, he should be back for the City game they're hoping, uh, which is good. But obviously we're going to have to make do for the next three games without him. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. Alistair Gold uh, earlier today said that Paolo Gazaniga could be heading to Spanish side Elche today. But Dan Kilpatrick has kind of pushed back on that uh, very recently and says that Gazaniga, Deli Ali, Danny Rose and Japit Tanganga all look to remain at Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, it's probably not good for any of them. It's probably not good to have them around. Well, not Tanganga, but especially Rose and as an eager they need to be out the club i think and getting minutes elsewhere but it looks like rose is going to be staying and yeah gaza i feel bad for him because he he needs a move desperately he doesn't he yeah and the thing is with danny rose as well is that danny rose turned down offers from turkey uh this month and apparently he uh, turned down a few different offers from west brom earlier in the window as well so we need a left back danny rose clearly doesn't want to leave <laughs> well, we need a left back I'm not he's, even lying. En <laughs> he's enjoying his uh his training with the under 23 so much he doesn't want to leave i swear we need a left back <laughs> like 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 Regalon's injured. Would Davis you, would you is play, failing. Would you play Rose if it was you? Well, the way Davis has been playing the past few weeks, I wasn't. I, obviously, I, I wasn't bothered about Rose being banished. But you know, the way Davis has been playing got me thinking. Like, <sighs> could you just bring him in? Just, just put, put him, him in if we need him, like West Brom. But no, we won't. Look, he's gone. We'd, we'd rather play Serkin, I reckon, than him. But still, like Davis is playing so badly, and he's being playing a lot of football isn't he he's being overworked at the moment and um he's really struggling Davis yeah. that's a big problem for us he is um so obviously Gazaniga looks like he's staying I don't know I don't know what the hold up in that deal was but they need why to get him, get him out the door if they're why not is it, put him in any of the squads you know what I mean why is it waiting till deadline day he should have gone the first day of the window I don't understand this and now we're racing against time to get rid of him I, I don't all, get all it these three situations Gazaniga, Deli Ali and Danny Rose they're all such stupid situations mm -hmm. It's None ridiculous. of them should be in this situation. Ugh. It's ridiculous. And, and the whole thing with Japit Tanganga, Tanganga was um, was rumoured to go out on loan at the start of the day, but it looks as though Jose wants to keep him, apparently. 
I wouldn't have minded if we went on loan to get some minutes. I think it would have done the world a good, but it looks like we want him around just in case. And uh, I can't see it. Well, we'll see what happens. You never know. Maybe we'll end up having to play him. And, uh, you know, the way we're defending at the moment, we might, he, he might get some game time, to be honest. So maybe he's worth keeping around. I mean, I'd, I'd rather play Tanganga than Matt Doherty at the moment. Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, and this is just confirming what we've already been spoke, speaking about. This from Fabrizio Romano. And he says, Deli Ali to PSG is definitely not happening. And the deal has now collapsed. The midfielder was pushing to leave Spurs. But without a replacement, a deal was not sanctioned. Which uh, I just don't understand whatsoever. Like, yeah, a deal's not being sanctioned because we haven't brought in a replacement. But we're not playing him anyway. So what's the difference? Yeah, he's not. Uh, it makes no, no sense, sense whatsoever. It May seems like Daniel Levy is just clinging on to it. Yeah, Levy doesn't want to let one go of a potentially prized asset, does he? Yeah. So, look, um, I really hope Delhi. I'm, I look, I don't, I don't, I'd rather he stays and gets game time, obviously, than sending him out on loan. But if he's um, not going to get at the game moment, time, he, he, he get rid. Hopefully, look, he, him and Reno really need to start patching it up, and because we need him, we desperately need him. He's lacking for creativity and goals in the up and um, far into the pitch. He's obviously a player in the past who's done that, hasn't done it for a while. But if we can get him playing, we got we all know what a good player we have on our hands, and uh, he's a player that we definitely need, especially with injuries and stuff. We're looking short um, up front, so get Delhi involved, man. We need to get him involved desperately, especially with how much we're struggling at the moment. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. he can provide a moment in any any game, mm -hmm. any game. Uh, all right, and last but not least, Spurs have confirmed today they've recalled Troy Parrott from his loan from Mill and straight away have loaned him out to Ipswich Town on until the end of the season. So hopefully this one will go a bit better for him. Yeah, um, I'm happy about that. I think it, it'll, hopefully it's a better fit for him. Mill did not work out at all. They were really struggling. I don't think Ipswich are doing that well either. Um, how, how are they doing in the in the championship? They are. Ipswich and they're not even the chat they're league one I are thought they're league, league one yeah, yeah they are league one they are league one so there you go uh, maybe that, maybe that's more his level they're 11th in league one maybe he'll get more chances and more uh, uh, ability to play some football because Millwall I never thought the football was going to suit him to be honest because mm. they're just too like like Burnley you know what I mean lump it forward challenging for things you have to use you have to be physical and he's not that kind of player at the moment at 18 years old so Hopefully he can go to Ipswich, bag some goals in League One, or at least get some more uh, better game time, and it'll be better for him. All right, so there you have it. That is the Tottenham update for today. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any thoughts regarding any of the matters we speak, spoke about. The transfer window does slam shut at 11 o'clock tonight. So if anything, on the off chance, on the very off if chance, pigs fly, yeah, on the we'll slight we'll off chance, <laughs> we'll be back to bring you another update. But as it stands right now, it looks as though... Well, Dan Kilpatrick did give an update saying Tottenham don't expect any more movement today well, in go. the window, well, ingoings go. or outgoings. Well, so it looks go. like so. that's done and dusted. So it doesn't look like anything is going to happen. But, you know, Daniel Levy hopefully will call up Jose Mourinho on the 11th hour and be like, fancy Van der Park. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Adams, he's still available. <laughs> well, anyway, there you go. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any thoughts regarding anything we spoke about. Like, subscribe, comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.